All right, you at six right now. Many employers across southern Arizona are having a tough time hiring new employees. Some say it's because of federal safety nets that are paying more than a traditional job. News 4 Tucson's Daniel McFarland joining us live from the newsroom with more on this story. Daniel. John, if you drive around town, you're going to see lots of now hiring signs and many people haven't been applying for those jobs. The governor of Arizona has now created an incentive for those people to take those open jobs. I'm joining several other governors across the country who've announced that their states will no longer be taking federal money for supplemental unemployment benefits. Effective July 10th, Arizona will not be paying the federal supplement to unemployed workers. Governor Ducey is not just turning away the unemployment benefit, but is taking it a step further. Rather than paying people not to work, we'll be offering a one-time bonus of $2,000 to any eligible Arizonan who returns to the workforce and gets a job. That bonus will take effect on Monday. The business service team at Pima County are ready for an influx of applications for jobs of all types. And it's like across the board. Typically with like construction always needs help or this industry needs help, but we're seeing it literally across the board, all sectors, all industries, hiring multiple positions and just can't fill them, can't get them filled. The worry for many business owners over the past few weeks is that they have not been able to return to their service standards that they held before the pandemic. Whether it's longer ticket times in the kitchen or slower service response times. And we believe that we've been successful by providing quality food and, and great service. Many business owners like Grant hope that these $2,000 bonuses will help fill their vacancies. And just as a reminder, this does take effect on Monday. Pima County also mentioned that they do believe jobs will return to normal, but professions like health care may have a shortage for longer thanks to the time for, the, for those training requirements to be fulfilled over a few years period. We've got you covered from the newsroom. Daniel McFarland, News 4 Tucson.